hey, what is the use if you don't live a transformed life? What is the use? You come Sunday morning. I'll tell you, these songs are not earthly songs. They are heavenly songs. Some saint of man of God, woman of God, they download it and they write and put tune. These are eternal tunes. This one song can make your day. Today you learn these songs. These songs will bring deliverance in you. Deliverance is not outside. Deliverance is in my mind. Oppression is in my mind. Weight is in my mind. Confusion is my mind. It's all a mind. Where is deliverance? It's all in the mind. These songs can deliver you. Garment of praise. What is garment of praise? It is a garment of praise. Ah, it just surrounds you. Just envelops you. It will bring such a confidence in you. See, the comforter abides with you. Comforter is the Holy Spirit. He is abiding in you. When you go to an interview, when you go to your job, sometimes people work in oppressive places. You may not even know. You don't want to go there, but you still have to go there. You have to sing these songs. The comforter abides with me. You keep singing these songs every day in your house. If you are in the house, you sing these songs night and day. Night and day. Sing these songs. And you see, your mind is released. There is a... There is a see, I will tell you one thing. When you, when you renew your mind, the blessing door will open. Why we should renew my mind? So that all the closed doors will open in my life. That's why we, we, huh? we do this. See, let's come back to Adam. Genesis chapter 1, chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. See here. Verse, verse 17. To Adam he said, Because you have heeded to the voice of your wife, have eaten the tree from the tree which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it. Cursed is your domain. Your domain doesn't reproduce, doesn't give you what it has to give you. We all have a domain to live. I tell you, you, you have a domain where you need to have dominion. What happens when you sing these songs? You reverse the curse. It starts to produce. You change. You don't change your ground. You change your mind. You don't change your ground. You change your mind. You renew your mind. You don't change your job. You renew your mind. You don't change certain things. You renew your mind. When you renew your mind, what will be need to be changed will be changed in your life. What is not required will, will just be blown out of your life. Your responsibility is not tumara Jeevan ka nirman karta tum nahi hai. Tumhara jeevan ka nirman karta pita parmeshwar hai. Or tumhara mind ka nirman karta tum hai. Your responsibility is not your life. Many of us, we think about our life and we get very upset. Instead of thinking about your life and getting upset, you renew your mind. Are you with me? You renew your mind. You want to change your salary. You renew your mind. You want to change the atmosphere of your life. You renew your mind. Don't, you need not do the wrong things. You need not be worried about all those things. All those things God will take care. My future, your future is in the hands of God. He has the best for you. Hey, you will be blown out. If, if God tells you what he is going to make out of you. Many of us, we are not ready for those things. But you have a responsibility today. 
you need to renew your mind how you renew your mind by praising god and worshiping god what happens when you praise god and worship god many things happen to you many things when you worship god you know you put god you give glory to god you put god in your in his place when you worship god it changes you it changes you worship makes you humble worship makes you humble it puts you you know under the authority of god praising god gives him that position he needs you have to sing you have to sing there are other ways you can you can worship god you can you can renew your mind you renew your mind by reading the word of god today we should see i'll tell you something if you have any issue in your life you know what you should do you should study the life of jesus now 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 today morning we were studying the life of adam correct how he was before before he was singing then after a uh, uh, confirmation he started to accuse his wife so we are studying the life of adam you you want to you want to renew your mind the renewal of mind began with jesus the transformation began with jesus you want to be transformed you study jesus how jesus li- lived how jesus walked how jesus talked you you read him you study him that's why you know the best books the toughest books in the bible is matthew mark luke john many people will say that is the most easiest book correct but according to me is the most profound book the most profound book is not romans the most profound book is matthew mark luke john why it talks about the most profound personality in human form god in human form so you have to read matthew mark luke and john study the life of jesus you see you see one of the marks of jesus is he always equated himself to a word all that he did it's from a word why you are doing like this it's written like this so i am doing like this so he he devised a pattern of lifestyle from the written word of god his lifestyle was prepared and created from the bible so he became successful he became transformation began with him let me tell you one more thing transformation is not one day job it is continuous transformation is continuous transformation is continuous when you don't transform we can settle down to a mediocre life mediocre life today many people they know god they know the principles but they have settled for a mediocre life they are they are just okay there is no improvement but I, let me tell you one thing your life need to be different today god wants to change you god wants to transform you god wants to put inside of you the seeds of transformation are you with me so the first thing you need to do is you need to start to sing songs there are many ways of transformation this is one way of transforming yourself the second way is notice the life of jesus read the read the gospels and start to you know imitate jesus see how he is talking see how he is talking see how he is behaving when storm come what he did when problem came what he did when people came to kill him what he did he is a good example for us to follow the third thing you need to do is you need to talk in tongues extensively talking in tongues also brings a lot of transformation in your mind if you cannot talk in tongues don't worry you can do the other two things if you can talk in tongues you need to many hours in a day you talk in tongues minimum is one hour you need to talk when you talk like that there is a lot of transformation in your mind your ability changes 
Uh, your lifestyle will change. 